What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review today and today we're going to take a look at the Cool Fire 4 TC100 by Anakin. Now, before I get into this review guys, I must tell you guys to, that the FDA wants to ban 99% of the vapor products currently out on the market. Please support your right to vape. Contact your rep, local representatives. I will leave links in the descriptions on how you can do that. You can write them a letter. All you got to do is sign your name and they'll go ahead and send it to your local representatives. Now, right now, we've gotten a few more co-sponsors, which is good, but right now it's kind of like a wait and uh, listen and wait kind of game. So right now I don't really have too much information to follow up with you guys on that because, I mean, the news has not been like really pouring in. Uh, I do know we got three new co-sponsors as of last night, so I believe that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing, but right now everything's kind of silent. So as I learn more, I will pass it on to you guys as soon as I know. But as always, I will leave links in the description. Please follow Kasa, Vaping Militia, NotBlowingSmoke.org, and Safada. Now they all are on social media. You can find them on Facebook. I will also put links in the description for you guys to get down and check it out. Tell them to support HR 2058 and Cole Bishop Amendment. Now if you guys could do that, support your right to vape or else none of this that I'm about to review is going to matter anyways because it's all going to be gone. So please support your right to vape and let's go ahead and talk about this cool fire temp control 100 watt. Now. Anakin has been around for a long time. I do not know too much about Anakin. Like, I have bought some of their products, but a lot of their mods, like the Cool Fire 4, and you know, Cool Fire 4 is the only real mod I've really ordered because it does 100 watts. So, that's what interests me is it goes up to 100 watts. It gives me that 75 watt range that I'm looking for with great battery capacity. So, I did pick this one up. I will post, like, what, uh, what the price is right there. I, unfortunately, I didn't look at it before I did the video. But, I know it's affordable, it's really good, and so far I've really been enjoying this device. So, let's go ahead, dive down up close, we will come back to FaceTime, talk about it, and I'll tell you guys the pros and the cons. This is not the full kit, that the full starter kit, this is just the mod itself. Fortunately, I didn't, the kit wasn't out when I bought the kit, bought just the mod. But, hey. Let's go ahead and dive down up close personal and we'll go ahead and go through the ins and the outs of this mod. The Cool Fire 4 TC100 comes in. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You guys can pause the video if you guys want to check out the features. Go ahead and open her up. Nice little box here, nice little magnetized flaps. As soon as you open it up, you are going to see the quick start guide. It does come in four different colors, white, black, red, and blue. Mod will sit right here, mine is out. Here's your charge cable, firmware upgrade cable. You will also get a user manual and some Anakin stickers, guys. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the mod itself. Nice little Cool Fire 4 Temp Control 100 branding here. Three little stripes going down the side. You got your ventilation, TC100 right here. It does say on the bottom, 3300 mAh battery. Capacity. Nice up-down buttons, nice and clicky fire button here is your USB port nice little screen go ahead and click it on here for you guys as you guys can see you got your ohms your voltage your wattage and your battery level along with your seconds how long you puff on that bad boy now in order to get it on and off one, two, three. As you guys can see, click three times on. One, two, three. Now, to flip your screen, push the up and the down button. Vice versa.
Now to let me go ahead and show you guys what this feature is. I think this is pretty a neat feature here. Check atomizer. Go ahead, put your atomizer back on. Whenever you put on a different atomizer, it will ask you if it's the same coil, Ni200, titanium, stainless steel, or wattage. So I'm going to go into wattage. In order to switch between temp control mode and all that while you're already in something, press the up button along with the fire button. And then we'll go ahead and put you in Ni200. Adjust your temp temperature by holding the up or the down button until it flashes, then it will move in 0.5 increments all the way to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And it will round robin to Celsius. So, switch through here, push the up and the fire button. Go ahead and switch cycle through. Titanium. Stainless steel. And back to wattage mode. Now, when you're in temp control mode, in order to adjust your wattage, as you guys can see, it's 100 watts, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold the fire button, or the down button and the fire button until you see the wattage blinking. Then you guys can move it between 25 watts to 100 watts. And bam, find your wattage there, lock it in, and you're good to go. So, let's go ahead, go back to FaceTime, vape on it, talk about it. And let me go ahead and tell you guys, show you guys the 510 here. I almost forgot, almost forgot. It is a copper plated stainless steel threading spring loaded 510. Let me go ahead and get me a handy dandy screwdriver. Pretty firm little spring loaded. Do get these little grooves here for your bottom airflow. Not really a lot of atomizers use that, but hey, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? So that's that. Got nice grooves here. Really, really nice mod here, guys. Really nice. Let's go ahead and go back to FaceTime, vape on it, talk about it. I'll tell you guys my pros and my cons. Guys, that was the Anakin Cool Fire 4 TC100 up close. Now, my pros and my cons for this device. I love the way it feels in your hand, man. It just so it conforms in your hand. It's a nice, definitely a nice stealth vape that reaches 100 watts. So I definitely like something that reaches 100 watts. That's really mobile and small. Also, it does all three wire types in temp control. Now, to me, that's not a big deal because I don't really like temp control, but to each its own. Everybody vapes differently. I do like stainless steel, but hey, at least you get that option. Stainless steel, nickel, titanium. Awesome. That is really awesome. You get all three wire types in this. You can also adjust your watts in temp mode. I like that. That is really something that a lot of companies need to really start doing. You know, that way you can fine tune your vape a little bit more and adjust your temperature while you're in wattage mode or wattage mode in your temp mode. Because a lot of companies will have it to where you have to back out of temp control mode, go into wattage mode, adjust your wattage, then enter temp control mode for your temperature or your wattage to be locked in and let's 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 go ahead and admit it it's kind of a pain because you can't you got to fine tune it and it takes a little bit longer to fine tune so it's definitely awesome that you can adjust your wattage in temp control mode without leaving temp control mode also another pro is a 3300 mob battery really been enjoying this battery it's been lasting me a good while really just don't feel like it's a 3300 mob battery and the two amp charging is a really 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 big pro to me I think a lot of companies should incorporate that in their mods, you know, a two amp charge rate. That way you can charge your mod a little bit quicker and it's a less downtime. You know, a lot of people don't want to be like, oh, hey man, I'm going to have to wait. Let me wait for my babe here. Yeah, yeah, I think she's good now. See, you don't want to do that. What we want is we want our mods to be ready. We want to vape. You know, we want we want to vape. If I got a boop and I can't boop because my battery's dead, 
I'm gonna have to pinch my cheeks. It's just gonna happen. But anyways, guys. Sorry, guys. Kind of got a little weird there. But anyways, the cons with this device. You can't lock resistance. I have not found a way to lock your resistance. I have looked in the user manual. I do not know if there is actually a way to lock your resistance. If it automatically does it or not. I do not know. But there is no way to lock your resistance. Also, there is a smidgen of a gap. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me see if I can try to move it here. Anyways, I showed it to you guys in the close-ups. Now, it's not that bad to me. It's not really noticeable, but I need to add, address it to you guys. Let you guys know. Um, other than that, man, I really don't have no beef with this thing. I mean, nice clicky buttons, fast ramp-up time. It's just really really nice it's a really small mobile compact little device don't really have too many cons so it is sub ohm saint approved guys so definitely go check this out i will leave a links in the description as i always do also please visit kasa vaping militia not blowing smoke and safada so please support your right to vape contact your representatives tell them to support hr 2058 and the cole bishop amendment you guys could do that that would be great support your right to vape and i will see you guys next review